everyone, Mr. Merkid here, and today I'm going to be showing you a fix for something that you may or may not have. Uh, this is the people that do have the issue. Um, I personally had it myself, but I found out a way to resolve it. And it's when, if you've downloaded like a theme before in a DLL form, and uh, you want to drag in the controls, sometimes the controls they will not display on the form, they display down here where timers usually are. Um, so if you've ever encountered that, this is what that video is about, so if you want to carry on watching, then carry on watching. So pretty much what I'm going to show you how to do is fix it. And to show you the problem, I'm just going to add a, a reference, um, add a reference, and it's going to be the new Metro framework. And I'll add that in. So, like I compiled this one myself uh, by downloading the source, but if you add the f uh, the code in and you make the form inherit from it, so I'll quickly do that inherit metro framework dot forms dot metro form so we'll make it inherit so we get the the skin of it uh, we need to actually change the class to inherit from that uh, so you can see the form looks nice but if I go to the toolbox um, and add in, let's say I add in a metro text box then the text box doesn't appear it just sort of goes down the bottom here like that's not what we want uh, so we want to be able to actually see the text box in our form uh, the way you do this is uh, you need to download the new get package manager for Visual Studio uh, I'll leave a link in the description for that and you just install it into your Visual Studio and once that's done you can click on tools and you'll see new get package manager and you just want to come along and you want to open the package manager console and that'll open up down here in the bottom of your program uh, while that's loading up uh, it's already done it's basically a command line um, so for the theme that I was using in this video the modern UI for Metro framework I've come onto the github for it and if you come down um, in the readme you'll see install via NuGet and it's actually got the command that you need to put in the command line here so you'd copy that um, you just want to navigate to the any page or whatever that is hosting your DLL like the source and see if it has some sort of NuGet to install it so we come back into Visual Studio and we'll just paste that command in and you just hit enter and what this does is it will download it uh, from the internet and it fully installs it for you so you can see here in the console uh, it's ex installing it successfully installed um, it's adding it to the application and it's successfully added so now if we just quickly save this and now let's say we added a button you see the button displays now if I wanted the text box go back in you see now the text box displays uh, but we still have this one here that didn't work so we can delete that um, so yeah that's really it now all these controls you'll be able to see uh, now this is all working so if you did have that error where you couldn't get in controls from custom themes um, the way I found out that works is installing it through NuGet because for some reason it installs it correctly uh, or something gets changed that doesn't when you just add it as a reference um, but yeah, hopefully this video could be of some help to you um, because it was a pretty annoying error for me um, I'm glad it's fixed now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time